In this video, I'll simply be sharing with you some off-stream looping footage captured through my replay buffer from this week, along with some commentary of my thought processes and decision making at the time. Additionally, I'll be sharing some helpful tips and tricks that you might notice throughout the video, and I hope that you can gain valuable insight from both observing my actions and hearing my thought processes. So let's dive right in. Okay, so with Windows Opportunity in this next room, I see a pallet. You never want to just run up to a pallet, stand there, and then wait for the killer approach to drop it. You'll want to greet it and buy as much time for your team as possible. I know because I play Wesker a lot that he only has two of those um, little rushes with his Uroburos power. And it's in a pretty straight line with a small hitbox, so you can dodge it pretty easily. Never underestimate the power of walking or crouching mid chase because the killer will lose you if you break line of sight. Prime example right here. He is so confused as to about where I went because from his perspective he sees scratch marks all in the room like covering that room because we just looped it a bunch of times then a little bit outside but not in the direction of which I went and whether it was left or right so he just can't find me here so let's get on to the next chase in this next chase just to add to the fact that I said walking and crouching are really valuable you had to also read the room and note that this killer is searching for two people at four gins and he's checking every corner he's like being very thorough at this point so sometimes you may just get unlucky but with a killer like this who wants to use his power, a Wesker, you can really end up dodging a lot of his power hits. And you do want to change tactics as far as greeting pallets go sometimes, because he's not going to respect the pallet if he thinks you're going to greet it. And that's what I did here. You kind of want to hold the loop until you know that he's going to break that pallet for real, because you know it's safe until then. And then, once again, I resume that loop to greed that pallet I'm kind of utilizing it differently and he just doesn't want any more of it for that point so he's uh, and he actually was able to see the other teammate unfortunately in the courtyard as I crossed I didn't know they were there but you know it is what it is alright so this next tip comes a bit with just familiarity and experience of playing the game I want to talk about uh, sound cues and the sound cues that different killers make whenever they're utilizing their power. You may have uh, heard it before with Wesker when he goes <laughs> and pulls out his Ouroboros arm. That's when he's about to use his power. Uh, well, I'm going to quiet the music down for a second. Listen to the pyramid head. When you hear his... He puts his sword down into the ground and that's a sound cue. That's when he's about to try to use his ranged attack. So, that is something super important whenever you're looping people like the Pyramid Head, the Huntress, or Wesker. See, they have a preparatory sound whenever they're about to use their ranged attack. And that gives you a little bit of time to just be random and dodge, either left or right. Because, you know, whenever they're doing that preparatory thing, they are slowing down as the killer they're gonna be moving slowly so you have a little bit more free range to make weird decisions once again also a thing with pyramid head the direction he's looking is where his thing's gonna go i mean i guess that's the same with everyone but you're gonna easily be able to dodge his uh, attacks if you're watching and being erratic with your movement and then you'll lose him eventually like this so in this particular clip, it's not really a chase, but I wanted to discuss the topic of end game tactics. So the pyramid head uh, was kind of proxy camping this Dwight on hook at the end of the game. And he actually ended up chasing the Kate who also had adrenaline. So she got injured and then chased off hook, but then adrenaline proct and then she got injured again. So luckily the timing was just perfect here. I go to the gate, but Fungman is already on the gate. I try to pull Chase to this tile to maybe lure the pyramid head there, but he ended up seeing her. 
So she's able to do the same thing here. And then he accidentally, well, un not accidentally, he unfortunately sees me. So I'm kind of doing a 50-50 by going up to this thing here and choosing to heal, knowing that in the mind of this killer, just the way that he's been playing this whole game, I know that he's going to be hugging tightly to this uh, gate. So I know that I'm pretty safe here with Dwight to be able to get healed. And then uh, we end up actually making the choice because look how close he's standing in the gate to that gate. He's just really committed to it. There's a whole nother gate. I don't know if you guys knew this, but there's two gates that spawn in this game. We can just choose to go to the other one. We don't have to tunnel vision on one thing. And, you know, I have so much time in this world that I choose to heal this Kate and get some altruism points, maybe Pip. And unfortunately for the way this game was going for the Pyramid Head, he decides to just DC and move on to the next one. So I'm sorry about that, Pyramid Head. Have a good next game. In this match, I was playing with a Swift last night as of recording this video, and this Demogorgon was actually camping hooks, but then he decided to come for me randomly at the opposite corner of the map. So I thought it was safe to do that gen. I was not. Once again, uh, Demogorgon is a little bit of a range killer. He'll have the preparatory sound and sound cue or whatever, like I was discussing with Pyramid Head, Huntress, Wesker. So if he, he does that and you're behind a pallet, you can sometimes greed the pallet, but might be safer to drop it. And on these TNL walls, you'll really want to just kind of play random. He did the sound cue, so I greeted that window and didn't go to it, which made him just jump right into the window. You really want to be random on these TNL walls, because more often than not, a killer will mind game themselves on it, unless they're like crazy high MMR and they just know what to do because you'll want to run on the inside this guy does a little bit of both because of the way i'm playing look at him double triple vaulting windows and i do this kind of because it kind of gets in the killer's head when you run up to a window or if you teabag at a pallet honestly some people might say it's toxic i'm a solid player on both sides of the game and I know just from experience that when someone does that to me, I get flustered a little bit and it helps you in the long run. So if you notice here on my left, this hook is already destroyed. Uh, you can't see it from the angle that I pointed at it, but you'll see it on the way back. I know because my wife, we, I was playing with her last night, she got hooked there and got killed there. So that hook's no longer useful. And I was using Petrified Oak, so hooks were kind of farther apart. So I knew I was safe to go down in this corner whenever I made a mistake like I did running into that wall. So my plan here is to just chase, be in a chase long enough for my adrenaline to proc. Because my team's working on gins. There it is. Yep. And would you believe me if I said that I did end up escaping in this match. I don't know. Would you believe me after you saw this? <laughs> well, I don't need you to believe me, alright? <laughs> I escaped. I did, I promise you. Because Elodie is a boss and she uh, just went for the unhook there. I see that the uh, Demogorgon is chasing her, so I'm free to go to the gate and escape. She's downed and she's on death hook, so I'm not going to be able to get the save. I am able to run to this gate, open it, and escape. So if you stuck around to this point of the video, I just want to thank you so much. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I will be posting it more often uh, because I think it's a little bit easier to do. And it's going to get better and better each time. I can promise you that because I will get better at discussing and conveying my thought processes as I go along. But yeah, thank you. Enjoy this next video that's on the screen right here.